Hey guys, so here is system test 15, long time no see. This is the new panel, uh, probably not worth the wait, but we'll go ahead and get on with the video. I'll talk about the panel towards the end, so that you can get to the parts that you've been waiting for. And um, you can see, I've also got this next to it. Uh, this this is just an auxiliary box. It's got the system sensor sync module in it. And, of course, the panel also has a lot of the features that I've been talking about, which, again, I'll get to towards the end of the video. But, I don't know about that. Let's go on and uh, show the system here. Simplex 425121. Simplex 4904-9101. 4051 on the 2903 light plate. Come over here. Wheel lock RSS. Auto call 4050-001T. Got another RSS in there. And then over here, I have a vintage notifier BNG1R and a Federal Signal 450D. So without any further needless conversation, now when I pull this down, you're going to notice two of the three big features that come with this new panel. So as you saw, the panel has not only verification, but two stage. And it's in the first stage right now. And you can see in the first stage, the LED there is green. And when it goes into second stage, it actually turns red. It's called a bipolar LED. It's pretty cool. And I have the panel set to March time. So we'll just sit around and wait for that to do its thing. It should be a seamless transition, so we'll see. I still have the lights wired to work with the uh, silence and all that. That's part of this panel's simplex sync protocol, I suppose. Um, and you can see the LED is now red, which is pretty cool. So I'll reset. Turn off two stage. And you'll also notice that there's these blank buttons, that's just for future expansion. Um, turn off two stage, we'll go ahead, um, now we'll turn on walk test. See the blue LED comes on, it's really bright. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull down the auto call pull station here, and it'll be 
more of a demonstration of the verification. kind of hard to reset that with one hand but you can see the verification is actually does work watch when I flip the switch the LED will come on but the panel doesn't go into alarm so that'll help get rid of false alarms that may pop up here because of my horrendous wiring job that I am maybe known for, I don't know. And of course with walk tests it also self resets. Like so. Go over here. Let's go ahead and turn off walk test. And we'll do code three by the drill button which I have specially wired to skip over verification and two stage because if you're operating it from the panel it's assumed that it's not actually an alarm so I don't know if you heard that, but I stubbed my toe on a step stool. It kind of hurt. Okay, so put it on continuous and we'll activate the heat detector. Someone told me I wasn't supposed to use a lighter with the heat detector, but I, I actually don't have a, a blow dryer anymore, so I honestly don't have anything else to use. Sounds awful raspy. fixed itself. What do you know? That's very loud. I'm sure you could have guessed that's insanely loud. I just realized that I forgot to activate the notifier pull station. So here it is really quick. Here it is really quick. There's the inside. 
there's all the official information in there as well. And then it resets like any other BNG1R. Only this one is special because the lock on it is old, so it squeaks and it sounds awful. Listen to this. So yeah, pretty cool pool station. I'd say it's probably one of my favorite, actually. A feature that's not included in this panel is trouble. Uh, and that is solely because my i3 just it doesn't work anymore. I Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, I have everything wired properly, but it's just not, it isn't turning on anymore. I, I, I don't believe I did anything wrong, but I don't know. I'm fairly certain it didn't detect smoke anyway. Because, A, because it was shipped here without the cover, the little orange cover on the, on the base there. And I tested it with a little, with a candle. And, you know, you might think that a candle probably doesn't produce enough smoke, but I'm fairly certain I did a good job with it, so... I don't know. Maybe I just didn't try hard enough. Anyway, so that's it for the system. I'll just get into a little bit about this panel. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same as the last one, just with the extra verification and two-stage, the room for expansion, you know, LED, all that. And then this auxiliary space here as well. But it's also got one feature that unfortunately I can't debut this week because of insufficient resources. But I will assure you that in two weeks, when I make the next system test, there will be one feature that I think kind of sets this panel apart from a lot of the other custom panels that are out there. So, that's System Test 15. I hope you enjoyed. It's good to be back. Goodbye. Oh, and make your happy snorty sounds. It's a good cat.